Do you think that any of these pose any challenges to, say, the Christian worldview? Is there anything about the Christian worldview that you think is at least challenged by these scientific developments? Well, we need to take them separately. Sure. Uh, and certainly, as uh, one person has said, at least one, that Darwinism proved to be an engine of atheism. Yes. Well, I think this is the, the most important example here is and probably evolution. It is. Yeah. Uh, quantum mechanics, actually, to take your other example, for some people, opened up yeah. the possibility of freedom and all the business of giving, to put it this way, which I don't really like, space for God, so to speak, yeah. and not uh, confining the universe to be a deterministic entity. I think that it is a very interesting case in point that a lot of people jumped to the Darwinist bandwagon until relatively recently. It was often used as a reason to get rid of God in some way or other. My thinking of it is, well, it's quite complicated, actually. First of all, the idea that there is a creator God is not going to be refuted by a biological theorem. I'm not even convinced they're in the same kind of category. Mm -hmm. That, in other words, Evolution, whatever it does, and I'm saying that quite deliberately, whatever it does is not an argument against the involvement uh, of a creator. I spoke to one very leading, well-known biologist who is a strong believer in evolution and is a Christian. And I said to him, in the end, if I'm pushed to it, God can do it any way he liked. So that if it happens to be that way, that is not an argument against the existence of God any more than the existence of an automatic self-winding watch, which uses random motions of your arm to wind itself up, is an argument against the existence of an intelligent watchmaker. Mm -hmm. That that calling in of randomness doesn't get rid of God at all. But of course, if you're going to use evolution uh, 